Good evening everyone, I bring you some breaking news from the Innibuilds team regarding a new airliner they're working on for 2023 for PC and Xbox. In today's video, slightly shorter video I should say, we've got that and a bit more news from the Innibuilds team, so without further delay, let's get right into it. Okay, so many of you may be playing around with a new beta update to the A310, 1.29.30. I've got a more extensive video on that that was released when that beta update was released, but we've got some information on what they're working on next after that beta. So first off, lights are being reworked for taxi and navigation lights, not too specific specific there regarding what they're actually doing with them I would imagine it's something to do with the intensity or the brightness of them because they are quite bright maybe too bright I don't know they're also working on in simulator ATC communications working correctly looking at some bug reports optimizing performance which of course is an ongoing battle those with the latest beta like me would have seen an FPS improvement but you can always do better with it it is a very heavy aircraft on frames but it's definitely nice to see they're improving it and of course dreaded sounds now people when the A310 was released complained that it was a bit too loud they fixed that in the recent beta and changed some of the ways you control sound I think is acceptable now but I'm sure some people uh, for some people it's a point of contention it's fantastic to see the indie builds team so focused on improving what is a freeware aircraft dare I say it one of the best if not the best out there definitely my favorite out of the sim update 11 lot Anyway, moving over to a payware product, the P40F Warhawk. Now, Innibuilds announced this at FS Weekend in early November 2022. It's coming to us next week. Now, I'm sharing with you the trailer on the screen. Of course, this Warbird is very different from the A310, but you can still expect that same level of Innibuilds quality. Quite unrealistically, however, it does include an EFB. Which I'd imagine you wouldn't see on a 1940s World War II aircraft, but who knows, maybe it's some secret technology they had back then. Joking aside, of course the EFB does serve a good purpose in Microsoft Flight Sim, bringing the controls that normally you control by actually going to them in real life, such as level of engine oil, into Microsoft Flight Sim, so it makes complete logistical sense. I note as well you can also toggle gun bays and bags in the aircraft, I think that's pretty cool to be fair. And it comes at a great price of 20 UK pounds, which is about 23 or 24 US dollars, 23 euros. Warbirds aren't my go-to in Microsoft Flight Sim, but for that incredibly affordable price and the fact it's coming from any builds, I'll definitely be easily persuaded to pick it up. So if you guys would like a review of it, tell me your thoughts down below. It will be released next week. Now we move over to the big news. What's coming up in 2023? Well, Innibuilds have confirmed after the success of that A310, they'll be releasing the A300-600F, which is the freighter version, in 2023. Now we have no confirmation of the passenger variant of the world's first Airbus type. But for those of you that flew this aircraft on X-Plane 11, you would just know how good it is. Of course, it's an even older aircraft than the A310, so even more systems to learn, even less automation. We don't get any information on when it will coming, be coming in 2023, but I'd imagine coming up towards halfway through. Bearing in mind, they've already had a lot of experience working with airliners in Microsoft Flight Sim, and of course, the fact that the A300 was recently released for X-Plane 11. It wasn't that long ago. I'd imagine it's quite fresh in the mind. So I don't reckon we should be waiting too long for this. Maybe August time? That's my prediction anyway. You watch me be completely incorrect. They also say they're working on a completely new exterior 3D model for the A300 for Microsoft Flight Sim. They will update us on progress closer to the time of release. Importantly, they don't say whether or not this is coming to both PC and Xbox, but being 100% honest with you, by that time, we'll have WASM support, and I think any builds would have seen by the pickup of the A310 across the platforms how important Xbox is to actually Microsoft Flight Sim, so I see almost no reason and no uh, sort of reality where this would not be coming over to Xbox. I think it's safe to say it will be. 
And that's it, some fantastic news from the Indie Builds team, a bit shorter than usual, but I thought I needed to update you on that information. A polite reminder that Black Friday sales continue across the Microsoft Flight Sim world, don't get caught out, I'll say it 5,000 times. Especially on the likes of Sim Market, it seems that some companies have raised prices and then dropped them back down to make it look like a deal, and actually you might even be spending more. To give you a flavour of what's available at the moment, there's 25% off the wonderful add-on, Ground Service X Pro for Microsoft Flight Sim from FS Dream Team, meaning you get it for around £23.50, as opposed to the £30 I believe I paid for it. There's also numerous deals off Amazon which you can find in the description and for those of you in the UK take full advantage of the Curry's PC World £150 Honeycomb Yoke or Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Some great deals and I've got them in my description. From me today that is all, I'll see you around, bye bye. <music>